This is probably one of the coolest scenes I've seen in all of Guanajuato. This is such a beautiful architectural scene. Seeing this in the daylight is one thing. It's often very flat light. And because we're sort of in this canyon of other buildings here, it doesn't get the light that this architecture deserves. But something happens when it starts getting dark out, where the whole university starts to get lit up at that special blue hour. Now we're here a little early, and that's a good thing. That means I get to explore the compositions just a little bit. And so I'm switching over my 0.5 here just to show you what the scene looks like. And look at the staircase, it's absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing is they have this roped off so I can't go any further, but that's fine. That means other people can't go any further either. So this is one of the few opportunities that I have to get these stairs completely void of people. Now I can't quite get these stairs all the way in my shot unless I back up further maybe right about here. And this is really pushing the limits of what I can do. If I switch back over to my 1X, I'll just show you what the scene looks like at that standard wide angle, that 1X. It's just not nearly as interesting. And my 2X here, it doesn't show nearly as much of the university as I want to see. So I'm going to switch back over to my super wide here. And as these people leave right in front of me, now I get the entirety of these steps with no one on it the symmetry created by standing just in this position and then using that super wide, that 0.5 lens, really stretches out that scene and makes these stairs even more dramatic. And without that lens, there would be no way I'd be able to get the entirety of this scene and really do justice to these steps that are in front of me. Now this is about as far back as I can possibly go. This super wide is so helpful for scenes like this. And I also noticed that there's another element in my frame that's actually working really well, which is this beautiful church right down this alley. It's literally pointing right into this church. And there's something to be said about shooting something from the corners. In other words, I'm not shooting flat towards a building. I'm shooting into a corner of this building, allowing me to see both sides of the building at the same time. What that really translates into is having a lot more three dimensionality in my scene. I really do like these potted plants and the way the building on the right hand side is sort of leaning into this composition. It's just one last added little touch that sells this scene. All right, now that we have this lined up, we're still a little bit early. I'm waiting for maybe another five minutes at most. It's gonna get darker out and these lights are gonna become a little bit brighter. And when they match, everything is gonna be in perfect harmony. And that's when we're gonna grab our photo. Let's see how this all unfolds. And literally as I'm saying, let's see how this all unfolds. Let's see how this all unfolds. This light just comes on here. Just a minute or two has passed and it's already gotten much darker. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This is the blue hour, the prime time to capture anything that's artificially lit, such as a beautiful university that we have here in front of us. This is beautifully lit already. And we have this church that's in the distance on the right hand side lit up as well. So this whole scene is starting to come to life and you'll notice I have a tripod with me now. As it starts getting darker, we're gonna have night mode kick in. Now you don't necessarily need to have a tripod to use night mode. It's actually there to help you while you're hand holding your photo. But if we wanna get the absolute best images possible, the clearest photos, night mode takes it a step further if we are on a tripod and lets us get an even cleaner image than if we would have gotten had it been handheld. Now, speaking of the night mode, the last thing I'll show you is here's how we can check it. A swipe on the right hand side from photo and I'm going to click on that white icon on the bottom right there. That's going to bring up my night mode. Now, right now it says auto and most of the time auto is just fine. It's going to automatically do all the work for you. But for this shot, I want to get the absolute maximum image quality. So what I'm going to do is swipe until it says max. Now, right now, max is only one to two seconds. That's gonna change as it starts getting darker. But while I'm talking and while this light changes, I'm gonna start shooting away. So what I'm gonna do is turn my, my self timer here 
Now I'm going to click three seconds. That's all I need. Now with this shot lined up, the last thing I'm going to do is kind of cover over this little flare here. Make sure that it doesn't introduce any unwanted flare from that light. And then I'm going to click that countdown shutter. So the reason why I use that self timer because it gives me the absolute sharpest image and it makes sure that any vibration that would have or could have been introduced by my finger is no longer there. But while we still have just a little bit more light here, I want to try and get a slightly different composition that I think will work just as well. I'm going to switch over to vertical here and I'm going to go actually all the way to my 2.5 and see if I can frame up this shot. Now I might move forward just a little bit to get past this sort of white barrier. And now that's the frame that we're looking for. So let's wait for this car to pass. I actually don't want those headlights in the shot. And now we have this beautiful clean alley. And while there are no other cars in the scene, I'll quickly get into the middle of this road and I'll grab this photo. How cool is that? We just got that shot the last minute of that blue hour. What an epic way to end such an epic day from just traveling through these alleys, capturing absolutely stunning images of scenes like I have right in front of me here. These are the days that photographers dream of. These are the locations that photographers dream of. And we don't need anything more than an iPhone and our curiosity to explore. And man, this is a day that I will never ever forget. This video was a free preview of my Capture It All online course. In this course, you'll discover how to use your iPhone to literally capture everything that's happening around you. We'll talk about composition, storytelling, timing, photographing people, recording videos, time lapses, flying a drone, and so much more. If you'd like to use your iPhone to its fullest potential, please take a look at the full version of Capture It All. You'll find the link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.